Hello YouTube, welcome back to Learning Life and Loving Radio Scanners. Hello, welcome to Tommy's video on talking about his top four tips on using a radio scanner whenever you guys go check out the Bell Louisville or or go down to Louisville to check out either the Kentucky Yum Center or any other place that gets a really good radio feed. So I I I hope you guys are ready for this video because I am. Let's get this video started. Today's video is brought to you by the local help of Area 51. Area 51 is a kind of good corporation for people with disabilities. They do more better for a good job at different areas. So please be advised that they do pair transit. They do different areas to different places. You guys can call more information at 812-876-3333. Now turn you guys over to my computer. So we see that this radio scanner frequency right here, this 461.4125, is Kentucky Yum Center Security. And now they use color code 1, talk group 11, slot 1. Now if we go on down here to Louisville Baseball Club, we got all these radio frequencies, but you guys see that all these uses the color code slugger. So that means if we go, like let's just say we go over to right here to the hotels, and we look at their hotels they got, they got the executive in, they got the Gold House, which uses security, housekeeping, A and B. Then we got the High Region. Then we got the Brown Hotel. Now then after that, we look on here some more and we find another good one to look at. Kentucky Kingdom in the fairground. So if we see this, we got like... Like, since Kentucky Kingdom's coming up, and I'm wanting to talk about this, they got these radio scanner frequencies right here. So you guys see that they are narrowed down to public safety one and two are both for public safety. Now, channel three, four are for, like, admissions. And then five... Five's for technical services, and six is for like guest services, sales, and marketing. Food and games. Park aid is for talk around. So if we go on down a little further, we got the Kentucky, the Kentucky State Fairgrounds. So this one is an interesting one. Because I was doing some looking up, like, on the radio scanner frequencies for, for the Indiana State Fairgrounds, and they say that they don't use those. Well, well, I kind of beg to differ, okay? So, if we go on back here, and we click on this system right here, and we look around at like some interesting ones. So we see that Derby City Gaming has 200 and 201. But you guys have to get these color codes correct. And these frequencies. So if we go on back again. We look at the Department of Veteran Affairs. We got these radio frequencies right here. Just be advised. That these radio frequencies right here are in the military range. So that means you guys would have to put on something like that. So if we go on down here to Worldport. 
we see that they use like 900 millibytes on everything. So we see that their DIs, their feeder, their hub ops, product support, ramp A, ramp B, security, technology support group, and world freight facility. So we got all that, and, and, and the only other one that we could listen to, which I see on here, it's like it may be a good one, is this United States Postal Service Freight, which uses this color code right here, which you guys got to type in. And I am not kidding you guys. Like, it is very very important for you guys to type that in. So then after that, if I show you guys up here like what I'm watching right now. So I'm currently watching Prince Charming Dev right now. This guy is like a really, really good one. And he's, he's making this video from his Alaskan cruise. So if we go on back, like look at another one, which we got like Baxter Communications, we got Churchill Downs. Now Churchill Downs, all this is encrypted, okay? So I'm kind of surprised by that because their system used to be not encrypted. So, like, the host program, these talk groups, I imagine the security and the suites, those are the only ones I imagine would be encrypted. But not anymore. You guys can't listen to that. So, if we go to, like, the RCPS trans thing, which we see that they use 900 millibytes and 800. So we see that they got SDF Airport Public Safety, SDF Channel 3 Maintenance and Snow Plows. We even got some trash removal in Chandler Medical Center shuttles, which we see on here. If you guys go to the Floyd Knobs, and then after that, I click on this one because this one has some pretty interesting stuff. So if we look right here, we got these two that needs a little bit of work. And then this one down here, these are P25. So then after that, you got fire dispatch at 154.13. Now they used to use a former... A former LTR trunk radio system, which was detached in December 2013. So they also got this New Albany system, which I don't even know that it even works because this UPS air ground and the Pasozal paratransit, plumbing, WLKY, all that's pretty much in the Louisville area. So if we go on back and look for another one, we got like New Albany Schools, which got administration, we got maintenance, we got emergency, and we also got transportation which got school buses special need buses and bus gps system so if we click on us and we go to like i'm going to do this one just to help you guys out if you guys are planning to go to like holiday world or indiana beach so if we click on this one and look at like Indiana Beach and we see that their radio scanner feeds are free to listen to.
because they are using the FM RIA scanner feeds. So if we go down here to like Spencer County and we click on attractions, Holly World and Splashing Safari, now we got private calls are used on this system. System needs proper LCN frequency or and then after that, looking around at that, and then these are the radio frequencies right here for like park operations, Bakari Way Pool, and the Hall Dog Express. So then after that, you guys got Lake Rudolph, which uses 125 DPL. Now, just a little fun fact, if you guys did not see my video from, from the other day, where I showed you guys the, the different stuff that's happening here in Orange County. Like, for instance, like their sheriff's dispatch, everything on here's got, like, controlled with either NXDN or... Or fire tech like right here uses was at 91.5, but they are using that now on a NXDN frequency. Now I don't know if they are using these old fire dispatch channels because they're converting everything there to NXDN. Now the thing that doesn't get me, and this is a thing that I think is really, really kind of not interesting at all, is that the West Main Springs Fireground, Spring Valley Fire Dispatch, and the um, West Spain and Fireground, you guys got like all these radio frequencies right here. Now when you guys go up here, you guys got a complete different area. So you guys got NXDN, you guys got Narrow FM, NXDN, Narrow FM, Narrow FM, NXDN, NXDN, Narrow FM, Narrow FM, Narrow FM, Narrow FM. Now, I don't know if the Orange County Transit Authority is using this one, but it shows it expired in 2 slash 15. So if we go on down here, look at a couple of others. Now, if we click on Blue Sky, and when you look at this, they got business, 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 which they got the French Oak Springs Hotel and the West Baden Springs Hotel, which we see on here that uses this one and this one. These two radio frequencies are for French Lake. And then this one right here is for like West Baden Springs. So if we look at their old LTR system, which I miss this system. So if we look at this, we got security, we got gaming technicians, we got all these, which you guys could listen to, but thanks to this, up here, this IP-based radio scanner. So if we see on here, for in Slick, I've seen Motorola radios at the Valley Stand in event guests, but that's all. And at West Bain Springs, I don't see any radios. Which, what is the problem with this area? That's my question. Now, the thing that they're saying is that they're using this radio right here. So, so they bump and monitor able 
the local area with big box stores carrying any traffic on the Rios, trying to see doing something wrong my end of things, if they will, if they are Wi-Fi Rios, then no. And then after that, I would agree they also use DMR Rios and different Rios stuff. I would do the Whistler TRX. Now going here and looking at Swan County, we got like, so that'll be awesome. I love to learn on what's going on in the area. Swan is on the Viper system, but if they are on the Viper system, like what in the world is the Cherokee tribe listening to? Now, if I show you guys another area, which I think is really kind of cool, and this is an area where um, I have to say that I got so many good radio feeds, and which is phenounding about this, just to give you guys a heads up of the location. It's in Popano Beach. This right here these are all of their radio frequencies. So they got 461.220, 0825. They got 9625 and 9625. They got Nightlife. They got Parker Playhouse. Here's another casino that's in that area with the exact same problem of NXDN and NXDN. Now there, now you guys, if you guys are going to listen to this, just try to tell me if they use NXDN like crazy. Because that would help me on my research. Now, you guys, this is my first video that I'm making this weekend. And I'm wanting to wish everybody a happy Memorial Day. And make sure you guys enjoy it. Alright, you guys, that's it. Have a great day. YouTube, I will see you guys later tonight at a brand new location that we haven't been to for quite a while. Have a great day, YouTube. I will see you guys later.